Hey, what's up everybody? Nick here with a Street Edition Gomez. This was a Mesco exclusive, a part of the 112 Collective. Pose, play, and display. So the exclusive boxes are smaller than the regular boxes with the word Gomez on the side and a creepy ass bug on the back. Display base is the Mezco logo done in a nice glossy matte, uh, matted black contrast. Looks fantastic. Love it. But it gets fingerprints very easily. All right. Here is Street Gomez. Much different than Agent Gomez in attire and look. So plastic head, plastic neck, plastic hands, and plastic shoes. The rest is fabric. Fabric uh, black jeans, uh, military jacket, striped shirt, and you get an additional windbreaker, which I'll pause the video at the end and swap it out. Okay, so that is the figure. Oh, articulation time. Uh, ball joint head, ball jointed neck. Shoulder joint, check. Double jointed elbow, check. Ball jointed wrist, check. Ab, check. Waist, check. Double jointed knee, check. Uh, joint, jointed, ball jointed ankle inside the shoe. Checkity check check. Okay, now that we've gone through all the fabulous point articulation that this Mesco figure has, let's plug him into his base and then hang out in the back as we go through his bountiful amount of uh, accessories. All right, hand wise, we get a left and right splayed hand. There's the right one of that. We get a grip hand, non-trigger finger, just a regular hold a sword hand, I guess, a sword hand. And to match that to that, we get a pointing finger. We get a special pointing finger for those that you want to communicate a special thing to, if you know what I mean. The two finger go that way. Trigger hand with the separate trigger finger. A open gripped hand which has a separate trigger finger as well. Three more. Um, another open hand. Another divert, another more open gripped hand as it were. And a ridiculously wide gripped hand to hold the caster grenade that you get. Okay, you get a ton of hands. I, the, I hate going through them, but they need to be done because they're there. So we do it. And it's awesome that they give them to you. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the, the variety of hands you get. It's just there's so many of them. All right. Muzzle flashes. This is something special that they did. They changed the color of the muzzle flash from the typical yellow that you get to this beautiful red and blue. I love this because I've bought so many figures of Mezco figures that have so many different muzzle flashes, but they're always that same yellow. This is red and blue. It's beautiful looking. It's very cool. It's something different. Same goes for the bullet. They give you a blue bullet and a red uh, vapor trail, which is very cool. I like when they give you variety in colors. Um, sniper rifle. Identical to the one you get with Agent Gomez, other than this one is done in a gunmetal color, which I love because it shows off all that beautiful detail that they put into it. They put so much attention and care into this gun. It looks so, so, so cool. So, all right, let's break it down because it does break down just like Agent Gomez's. This snaps off right here. That's the first piece. And you can actually give you an additional muzzle that can be plugged into any point of the gun. So if you want to have a shortened muzzle instead of the long stock one. All right, so from there, we can pop off the 
scope. You have this nice long gun, and then you can have a shorter gun. You can pop off the stock. You can have like a little handgun, and then the magazine does pop out to show off one of the bullets. So, with the Agent Gomez, you got a nice, beautiful, sleek black boombox that you could fit the sniper rifle and all its parts into. It's all black, a little bit of silver. With Street Gomez, you get a purple boombox, a little bit more flair to it. And it says, it says sex squirrels on it. You got me there. I don't know. All right. So instead of, well, not instead of, in addition to the insert for the sniper rifle, which is this, this is the insert to the sniper rifle. You also get a second insert. Now this insert you can use to put just the gun and the magazine. And then you get two additional spots. The one spot is for the canister grenade, which has beautiful paint applied to it. It has nice metallic purple at the bottom, this almost skull-like color at the top, and it definitely looks like a skull. You got some nice blue paint in there too. That goes down here, like so. And then you also get a striped, as I call it, the noisy cricket. Beautifully painted, nicely done. And that goes in the top corner. <clears throat> so, if you had both the Agent Gomez and the Street Gomez, you can mix and match the the weapons if you're not a fan of the striped or the, the cancer grenade that looks a little funky you could use them you could use the insert in the other boom box they're swappable so there you go so you can take that and then you can just close it up and that can go with him there bring it down just a little bit back up a little bit too okay we did the gun we did the boom box and of course he's got to come with his with a sword right so here is the green sword as opposed to the jet black with a nice bone uh, hilt. Beautifully done. You also get a watch, a tiny itty bitty watch. 112. Don't ask me what that means, I don't know. <coughs> All right, so he comes with something else. He also he has a lot more accessories than the Agent Gomez. Comes with a checkered hoverboard, beautifully sculpted, beautifully painted. I love the the deco that they decided to do. It also matches the uh, the grenade, which you get two of the grenades. You get two grenades. Um, I just pulled one out for this review. Um, same color scheme as the grenade. And I know what you're saying. It's like, well, where's the peg? How are you supposed to put that to his feet? Magnetic. I do believe there's magnets inside his feet. Once you got that beautiful Mezco logo on the, on the bottom of his feet. I do believe there's, there's a magnet inside the, the front of his shoe. And this is just a metal plate for it to stick to. Does that mean that Gomez could stick to your refrigerator? I don't know. No, I don't think the magnets are strong enough. So, whoop. Alright, sorry the camera moved on me. Um, I don't think the magnets are strong enough to connect... To have them sticking to a fridge. But they work for their intended purpose. You do get an armature like every Mezco figure. So you could have him mid-flight inside uh, on the base. With the uh, hoverboard underfoot. You also get stickers as well for your boombox. If you want to flare it up a little bit, you get a sticker poster 
which has Agent Gomez on it within the crosshairs. And you get a scarf, which is new. This is reminiscent of the Ronin Wolverine. So I think they just liked it so that you can do this and have it dynamic. And you can bend it a bit because it has a wire inside one side of it. So you can have him flying with his hoverboard. Now you can't be playing it, so you can have him flying with the hoverboard and the scarf on. Something fun for them to add. It gives you a little bit more personality, a little bit, you know, something to change it up with. So we got a couple more things that this crazy, crazy bug comes with. It comes with three additional heads, similar to Agent Gomez, like I keep using as a point of reference. He comes with a roach head. I think it's a roach. So, roach head. Now, I know it, and I know you're all going to scream it if you know it. That tattoo on his face and the color scheme of it, that screams Ziggy Stardust. At least to me it does. If I'm wrong, so be it. But to me, that's the, fir the first thing I saw when I saw it was like, that's Ziggy Stardust. Um, you get an uh, insectoid green... Green head, which I think is beautifully done. And you get a pink skull instead of a black skull. So there you go with that. Um, I liked the other heads a little bit better just for the fact that um, I think all the colors were similar enough that with the neck you could swap out the heads and you wouldn't see a difference. With these, the green head, if you put the green head on this body, you're going to see the brown neck with the green. Well, I can just show you. I don't need to, I need to talk about it. I can just show you. Pop off this head and swap on this head. And see how you get that like brown neck, uh, green head look? That, to me, is no bueno. So... If they were going to do this, or they are going to swap out the color of the heads, I wish they would have just given you an additional neck piece to match the head. At least for the green head. I'm so-so on the pink head and the, and the Ziggy Stardust head. But the green head, I think, is... I like it, I like the insectoid head. I wish I would have had a neck attachment that would have matched it uh, closer. So, yeah. Me complaining about extra, extra stuff. But if you really want to make him look... I know... That he has brown arms. But, you know, you can cover those over with the sleeves. You really can't cover over the neck. Well, you could cover the neck. You could do that, actually. You could do this. So this is a solution to it. You put this on. Let's go backwards. Put this on, right? Yep, yep. And then... Da -da -da -da, you can take it and wrap... This around... And it hides the neck. So there's your solution to my complaint already. So I, I answered my own complaint. So there you go. All right. So that's a nice little cheat. I'm sure that's how they thought of it. They're like, well, we could add in another neck piece, but that's a more plastic. How about we just throw in one of those Ronin scarves? Genius. Covers over the neck. And it works. Okay. So we've gone over everything. Except for... Oh, no, we missed one thing. Sorry about that. He comes with a backpack. I know. He, the things just keep coming. It's like an infomercial. Um, so with this backpack, you can open the top and you can pull out the foam if you so choose. And you can fill it with whatever kind of accessories or any other kind of parts. If you're trying to like keep all of his accessories on him or you want to swap out the hands on the fly, as it were, you can put them in the bottom of this and that works. If not, you can leave this piece of foam inside there to keep it, making it look nice and bulky. Um, you also can do this. If you pull this up just a little bit, there's a strap on the back that opens up. And you can put the hoverboard on the backpack like so. 
so that straps in there like that. There's also a sleeve on the side. Now, with the sleeve, I don't know. It might be just your own preference. If you want to put the sword like that, open, or you want to take the sheath first, slide it in there like that, you'll have this dangling there like that. Unless you just kind of shove it in there all the way, but I think it's gonna get messy. You could probably just—that's the best you could probably do without making a mess. And then put this at the top, so you could do that as well. I don't know if that's what it's for or not. If anybody knows exactly what this is used for, let me know because that's the only thing I could think of that would fit in there that he comes with. Uh, these pouches on the side are sewn shut. You could open them up and use them, but then they won't close properly unless you put something like a little piece of Velcro on the underside of them. So keep that in mind. Uh, all right, so the last thing we got for him is his other jacket. So I'm gonna pause it now and swap the jacket in the, uh, in the meantime. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so I swapped out the head and the jacket. So here he is with the uh, windbreaker jacket on. Um, the reason why I swapped the head out while I was off camera was the hood itself does have a wire in it and it just wouldn't work well with the antennae that uh, the Mezco head has. So the bald creepy ghost head works well that you can actually show off the, uh, the windbreaker aspect of it, which it's very cool, and I wish they would have had that wire in there for the uh, homecoming homemade suit for Peter Parker. Um, so there you go. So that's that's that head. And I'm not a big fan of this pink head. It's weird. But it's cool that they gave it to you for those who like it. Oh, it goes rolling around. Let's look back on the original head with the pink eyes. So I just put that on. All right, so there he is with the windbreaker. All right, all done. Final thoughts on the Street Gomez. Fantastic. Very cool looking figure. Um, different variety, different taste than the Agent Gomez. Um, it gives you a lot more accessories. They give you a lot more choices um, of style, like with the, the additional jacket, with the scarf, with the hoverboard, you have um, various different uh, ways to display this one. I think that it's fantastic that they're doing another Gomez figure, that they're, they're going to continue uh, making different incarnations of him, different ways of life, different aspects, different uh, styles. I think that it's good. It, it gives you the chance to pick the one that you want or just have a small army of them. It's... It's them as their name brand. It's 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 what they want to do, and I think that they should continue to make Gomez as long as people are buying them. And I I think that they could do so many different styles, and I think it's really fun that they're actually pulling this off. Um, personally, thinking that they this this one in particular shows you that they could do regular looking uh, action figures and probably sell very well. They could start making casual civilians of like say uh, Batman, Superman. Uh, Peter Parker, like all those characters that have a, a civilian identity, you can see that they can do regular street clothes. This is what this tells you. It's not just a costume that they have to do. It's not just a uniform that they can do. They can show you they can do a character that's done with windbreaker with, a, with an army jacket, just normal civilian style. And I think that it's something that they might want to look at as to just getting basic blank figures that they can do that you know you can take the frank castle head off of a punisher and put it onto a regular body so he's you know in a civilian uniform people want that kind of stuff people want that kind of diversity is it something that they could charge a lot for probably not this figure alone for what you pay for what you get it's worth it through and through and i think that it's a very cool looking figure i think it's a very fun looking figure i think that it gives you a lot more personality on your shelf and I think that people's eye will be caught by the amount of accessories that he has and just alone his style. Those pink eyes just grab you by, grab your attention and you just, you can't look away from them. I think that it's great that they give that to you. You could have four of these and have so many different looks 
come out of it and have him look so many different ways and be doing different things. It's so great to have a figure that has such diversity that it's just not one trick pony. And it's like, here you go. This is what he looks like. And this is it. They give you options. And I think that's a fantastic thing that they do. And, um, He's great. Definitely worth picking up, or at least pick up one Gomez. If you're if you're a fan of the Mezco figures and you're a fan of the 112 Collective, keep an eye on their site for whenever an exclusive Gomez comes up and just grab at least one of them, and I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. So there you go, guys. That's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See ya.